Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful and sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today I am going to show you a really cool fun fold. You guys know that I love fun folds, but this one is really unique and it looks very complicated. So don't let it fool you. It's really quite easy. This was part of a challenge I did on my Facebook group, and I'm going to be using the Beauty of Friendship bundle. This is a brand new bundle from Stampin' Up! in our annual catalog. Can I just say, wow, I love it. This is part of the One Stamp at a Time blog hop where we are featuring a theme of mashup today. And what that means is we're bringing some products that carried over from our old catalog into, let me move that light out of the way. Sorry, we're jiggling. We're bringing old products and new products together. So let's get this camera turned around. I will show you this fantastic, it really is kind of like crazy, spectacular fun fold. And you can decide if you'd like to give it a try. And I hope you do because it's really a lot easier than it looks. Like I said, we're going to be using this Beauty of Friendship stamp set. We also have coordinating designer series paper. Oh my goodness, this is so, so pretty. Look at all these beautiful patterns. They all have something to do with trees. So we've got a wood grain and then all these gorgeous, gorgeous watercolor patterns. Are these not just incredibly beautiful? Yeah, I'm super excited about this. Look at that one. Beautiful. Okay, Oops, let me get this back in here. We'll get started. This paper is the Beauty of Earth Designer Series paper. You get two sheets of each pattern and they're all double-sided. Like I said, we're going to be doing a fun fold. So I've got my card base. This is our Misty Moonlight. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And then we've got all these layers that we're going to layer it up with. First thing we're going to do is bring in our paper trimmer because we have some cutting and scoring to do. Now, the card that I'm making was part of a card challenge that I put out to my Facebook followers. And I told them that I was going to be making my version of this card for this blog hop. So we are going to announce a winner of my little challenge as soon as we're done making the card. We are going to do our scoring first, and we're going to score our card base at one, two, and three from each side. So I always like to kind of start on this side because it's just a little bit easier to keep this paper in here straight against the, the backboard. Here's one, and then I flip it around and head to two, and then three. And we're gonna do that same thing on the other side here. Oops, I could have left this in here. We're going to go one, two, and three. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to turn this this way. And in between our score lines, right here and right here, we're going to cut. We're going to cut at seven eighths. So you need to be careful. Whoops, hang on, my little blade just came out of the track. There we go. We're gonna cut from here to here. Oops, I got it a little far there. I slid my, my, my trimmer a little bit too far. And we're gonna do the same thing. I wanna make sure you can see this. From here to here. Yep, that one looks good. Okay, so I said seven eighths and one and seven eighths. So we're gonna go up here and do the same thing. From score line to score line, that looks great. Ouch. 
don't cut yourself. So I was moving my blade the other day and I was holding onto this as I slid my blade down and look what I did to my finger. I slid it wide open. So yes, a paper trimmer has a blade in it that you should be respectful of. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Seven eighths. And one and seven eighths. And one of the things I heard from the people who joined the challenge, and there were a lot of them, is they were really surprised at how easy this was. Because it when you get done, it looks like a very complicated card. But it's really not. And this is the one and seven eighths that we're cutting at right here. Okay, so this is what we have. We have four slits in our card. So one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna get out our bone folder and we are going to burnish these score lines really well. And let's see, this one goes backwards like that and this one goes backwards. So I'm gonna push this and push this. Oops. And just like that. You see what I did there? I pushed that in and pushed that in, just like that. And again, burnish those fold lines good. I'm gonna pull this in, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Push that back and push that back, just like that. And then just pull it all down. Now, you wanna make sure this is gonna fit in an envelope. So this is the way you're folding it. Isn't this neat? I don't know what you would call this, a lattice card, I'm, I don't even know. But I just thought it was really cool and I'll show you where I got the idea for it when we're done making this. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping now. We've got a piece of the Misty Moonlight and this is three by four and a half. And then we have a piece of white to layer on it that is two and seven eighths by four and three eighths. So we've got to do a little bit of stamping there. We've also got a piece that's going to go in this back panel, and this is where you're going to write on your card. This piece is two by five and three eighths. So let's get our stamping done first. Oh, and then I've got a scrap of basic white also. Did I call it whisper white? I, I have a little bit of trouble with that. We've had Whisper White for as long as I've been a demonstrator, and now we have Basic White. I've got four ink pads here, Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider, Old Olive, and Mossy Meadow. So I'm going to start with my, cider, my Cinnamon Cider and this nice little tree trunk. So we're going to stamp on this layer first. This is, remember, a scrap. This is for the back, this is for the front. The cinnamon cider makes great tree trunks. So I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to make it about that big, okay? So now we've got a small tree and we're gonna put in a bigger tree, just like that. Pretty neat looking. Then, I got little notes on here so I don't forget how I did this. We are going to stamp this off twice in the cinnamon cider and we're going to put some ground down here. Stamp off twice. Got a kind of a little hill going on there. And we're just gonna keep stamping off twice. Just like that. Then we're going to grab, there's a tree. There's an evergreen tree. Okay, let me show you my stamp set. There is, this is two-step stamping. So you've got one that's going to give you a little more solid image and one that's gonna give you an image that is not solid at all. We're gonna take this one and we are going to use Old Olive Ink. And I don't really need an evergreen tree, but what I thought would look pretty cool 
as if it looked like we had some tree branches coming down into this layer. I'm gonna kinda go like that. And I just thought that would look kinda neat. There we go, isn't that kinda cool? I thought so. Now on our scrap here, we're going to grab our mossy meadow. It's gonna be a little bit darker. And we're going to, ooh, we're gonna go with old olive, sorry. Old olive, we're gonna stamp two of these bushes and you can see how much lighter this looks. And then we're gonna come in with the more detailed and we're gonna use the mossy meadow. Stand up, make sure. Isn't that cool? And then before we're done with all this green, I'm going to bring in this more, a little more detailed with the old olive. And I'm just going to stamp a little bit of my branches right here on this layer for the back of our card. Okay, as long as we're here, we've got our scrap out. We're gonna stamp the thinking of you. I'm just gonna put this with the Misty Moonlight. And then I thought this might look really nice on the back also. So I'm gonna go with the You Truly how about if I put it right down here? You truly inspire me. I love, love, love the font on that. Isn't that pretty? Uh, I think we're gonna need one more scrap of white for our little box too. So I'll set that over there. Okay, now we need our dies and here is the treetop die. There's a really nice tree in here. You can cut out these trees. You can cut those out, and then you can also cut out a really nice skeleton tree. But what we're gonna die cut here are these two treetops. So both of these. And we have a label we're gonna die cut this. I'm gonna run over to my stamp and cut and emboss machine and get those die cut. I'll be right back. Okay, here is everything. Here's our sentiment. I also cut out a Misty Moonlight, same size. And then we've got both of these. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of one of our tree tops. And we're going to layer our sentiment and offset it just a little bit. Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on here. These are our mini dimensionals. I love these things. No more cutting dimensionals for the most part because they're already tiny. Okay, glue one of your tree tops down. We're gonna take the other one and we're going to put this on the other tree top. Bring this in. We're gonna put this right up here. Yay! Isn't it? It's coming together. Oh, you know what? This is kind of off. It's a little not where I should have put it. I need to center it just a little bit better. Things like that will drive me crazy, so bear with me. Add this to our misty moonlight layer. Isn't that striking? I just really like that. Okay. We're ready to start putting things together. Now, we have four strips of designer series paper here. These two green strips 
are for the top and the bottom of our card. And these are three quarters by four, okay? And then these two side strips are for the sides of our card. And these are seven eighths by five and three eighths. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna add the green ones first. Do this one right here. Whoops. Oh, I don't think these are the right size. I wonder what happened here. Hang on. I think I told you that this was eight and a half by five and a half, it's actually eight and an eighth by five and a half. So I'm just gonna keep going here. I'm gonna have to redo mine because it's a little too big to fit in an envelope, but there's not gonna be a lot to redo. So I do apologize for giving you the wrong measurement there. I forgot to cut that off too. So we're just gonna keep going. And you'll wanna put your glue in the middle so that it sticks right on here. I just think this is the coolest card layout. And then we're gonna put these side panels on. These are gonna fit just fine. I thought when I was looking at this card, it's like, gosh, this looks kind of wide. And it is, I should have trusted my instincts, but that's okay. Oops. This one. Wow, isn't that just pretty cool? I think whoever you give this to is gonna be very, very impressed with your paper crafting skills. We're gonna just put this right back here in the middle. And this is gonna be the panel that we're gonna write on. So. Here we go. Now, I wanted to add just a couple embellishments, and I've got these gold gilded gems. This is my old item that I'm using here, and my cardstock, of course, but my designer series paper and my stamp set and dies are new. So I think I have accomplished the something old and something new that was required of this blog hop. I can't hardly wait to see what everybody else has in store for their projects. It's always fun to go through and see all the different ideas. So there's a little bit of gold. I thought that would look cool with these. Neat card. I also have an envelope. And I always like to decorate my envelopes. Hang on a second. I've got an envelope here someplace. Here it is. <clears throat> so I've got an envelope of this one. I'm gonna show you my other card here in a second. And I thought for this envelope, I would use the green. So this is two and a half by six, and you just add the glue to your envelope flap. There we go. And then you're going to trim it by opening it up and following the edge of the envelope flap. Use up the designer paper. This will keep you from being a huge paper hoarder, which I know most of us are, but this will help you use up that paper and make some very, very nice matching envelopes to go with your amazing cards, right? Isn't that cool? So I told you I had another one. This one is cinnamon cider, and you can see that it is just a tiny bit smaller than this one. So. We're gonna be in good shape with that. Same exact card, just a little, a different card base. So we've got that one. And then I wanted to show you a little 3D idea. So I've got this designer series paper. Ooh, and I had a scrap. I don't know where my scrap went, but we're gonna just grab another piece here. Um, this piece is two inches by ten and a half, and we're going to take one of our 
three and an eighth by three and an eighth acetate card boxes. Now you get 10 of these card boxes in a pack for $6. So they're a really good deal. Oh, here's my little scrap. And all you do is fold these on all the score lines and put them together. And it's just that simple. I like to kind of push them a little bit further than they need to go so you can get those those score lines bent down good and then your boxes will form better, I guess, is a good way to put it. So I'm going to add, let me get this out of the way. I'm going to add some of these blue candies that I thought would look nice in here. And of course, the other thing that I thought, this is kind of a masculine card. The other thing that I thought would be nice is like a money clip would fit in here. Something like that. You just need to think in terms of guy things. Could maybe fold up a lottery ticket and throw that in here. Come on, you little stinkers. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna call it good on that. There we go. That's kind of fun, right? And then we are going to take this piece and the sentiment, you truly inspire me. Let's see what color. I think I want to use the mossy meadow again. And I'm just going to add that right there. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. And I'm bringing in the tailored tag punch. So again, this is a something old, something new. I'm going to punch this out. Let me make sure I'm getting it straight in here. There we go. Then we're gonna take this. This is the two by 10 and a half inch piece. And we're going to, I'm gonna fold these over like this. And we're gonna punch the edge of this with this label punch. Just like that. Isn't that cool? Okay. I'm gonna bring in, this is our new Baker's Twine Essential Pack and it comes with five different rolls of Baker's Twine. And I was thinking, I'm gonna grab the craft colored or crumb cake one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this box and we're gonna put like a band around it. Oops, hang on, I wanna make sure this is. There we go. Okay, my plan with this is to bring this up and get it even right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of push over the edges to score them a little bit by hand. Just like this. You could measure this and score it in your paper cutter, but gosh, this is just so darn easy. I like doing it this way. And then I'm going to grab my mini glue dots. And I'm going to just add a couple of these right in here. I'm gonna hold this piece together. How about I should have put that up a little further? There we go. Just like that. So I've got one right here and one right here. And now I'm gonna bring these in and match them up just like that, okay? This is super simple. This is like a little belly band. And then we're gonna put our baker's twine in there. And I think I wanna double this up. on a nice little bow. Oh, that went well. <laughs> and then we're gonna attach our label right here. And I think we'll do that with 
some dimensionals. Isn't that pretty? If you wanted to, you could punch another one of these tailored tags out of some cinnamon cider and layer that behind here. But I just thought this is a nice little gift to go along with a pretty fancy card. Look at that. What a nice little gift set to be able to give to somebody. And there you go. Now, don't forget, this was part of a challenge that I had on my Facebook business page. And you can look me up, a stamp above dash your creative coach on Facebook and find me. There's also a link under the YouTube video that will take you to my Facebook page. This is the original card challenge or the original card that I received from one of my team members, Karen Gondon. And I just thought it was the coolest card and I knew that I had to use it. So I, or make one of these. So I used it as a challenge. And I have to tell you that Kim Ligari is the winner of my challenge. Kim, watch your mailbox for some happy mail. And I hope you guys will go to my Facebook page and click on like so that you will be alerted to any upcoming card challenges. I love to do card challenges and share some of the fun with you with prizes. And here is the other cool card that I made with this. Now, blog hop, you're going to want to click right up here. Before you do that, click down here on the subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Click on this button. It's going to take you over to my blog where you're going to look for this project. And then you're going to find um, links to go hop from blog to blog and see what everybody else made with the mashup new products with old products. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Bye-bye.